Welcome everyone, for we are unopening the tomb. And this is during my peak weeaboo phase. We are looking at a 20 plus year old sketchbook from when I was 14 years old. Ah, uh, oh, I did this wrong. Ah, ta -da. Okay, if you don't know, this is Fairy Sailor Moon. So I was a big Sailor Moon fan and I wanted to make my own story. And this is before I knew Sailor Stars existed. So I've only seen up to four at the time. And so, yeah, I made the Fairy Sailor Scouts with Fairy Sailor Moon. And she's supposed to be Rini's daughter. Yeah, and she has her own cat, Tika. And of course they all have pseudo, a lot of them have pseudo Japanese names because I didn't know any Japanese names. But we have Rini's daughter, which I spelled Rini wrong. I spelled it Renee. Renee's daughter, Destiny, lives with her great uncle Sam on Earth. She has to defeat the enemy that threatens the Earth, the Dark King and Nega, and Nega Sailor Scouts. Mystic Crescent Power. And I wanted to make her red hair because, you know, it was blonde and then it was pink and I was like, why not red? Kind of <laughs> stole the coloring from Eternal Sailor Moon a bit. It's Pikachu! Oh. Okay, and of course, every Sailor Girl needs her team! I didn't even color all of these, I don't even know why. We have Trini, Fairy Sailor Venus, and we have a uh, Kikara, Fairy Sailor Sun. Eve, Fairy Sailor Mercury, Acura, Fairy Sailor Jupiter, and Nell, Fairy Sailor Mars. The Fairy Sailor Scouts help Sailor Fairy Moon defeat the Dark King and the Nega Sailor Scouts. Like Sailor Fairy, Fairy Moon, they use a pendant to become the Fairy Sailor Scouts. Cause you know, fairies. It needed a gimmick. We also have Lorana. Sailor Fairy Saturn and Sak Sake Sailor Fairy Pluto Nicole Sa Sailor Fairy Neptune and me Sailor Fairy Uranus and I wanted like a magical girl team to have more than just one pigtail so I had this one with short pigtails and yes I didn't have a black marker because this is done in crown check out this great logo it's Fairy Sailor Universe we are the fairy sailors. We always save the earth. I think what I was envisioning was that all of them fused together or some sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I guess I changed Sailor Sun to Josie, AKA Sailor Scout of the Sun. And here I'm practicing my, you know, anime expressions. Fun fact, the little expressions and like symbols in it, called Imanta. Lots of cartoons have them, outside, even outside of manga. So sometimes I like to look in my old sketchbooks and redraw something in them. So in 2011, I redrew this girl. Oh, 2011 me, what the fuck is? Oh, I think this is one of my OCs from my old story, Adventures of a Mystica. Adventures of a Mystica was, uh, it was a tomb. It was a freaking chapters upon chapters. It was, it was going to be 12 books of my fantasy series. I still to this day suck at profile, but not as bad as this. Oh, I tried to make my own Pokemon here. Anime Planet, where you can get all your anime. Head. Oh, I, I used to, uh, I actually composed my own songs on flute and I don't remember what this tune is anymore. Cursed image. Head! Oh, okay, so the story behind this, that is a self-portrait of me when I was in freshman year. Because from freshman year to at least uh, senior year, I had these pair of, not even Junkos, these, they were like kind of knockoff of Junkos, but I just told people they were Junko jeans. If you don't know what Junko jeans are, they were the very huge like denim raver jeans that was all the rage in like the late 90s. And I wore my pair or fake pair till like 2004. 
And everyone wanted to be Sailor Moon on the inside. Partial head! I think this is Casual Destiny and some more sheet music. And Partial Head! Oh, I, I tried to challenge myself by drawing big. Ah. Uh, head! Oh, okay. So here we have the Amistakan Royal Family. I was going to save this for a story time someday, but it's coming up now. It was my fantasy book series I was working on in freshman and sophomore year. It was fantasy, but also anime influenced. And it was a total Mary Sue where, you know, some of the, a lot of characters were based on my friends, but not really because it was really like, I was the Mary Sue and my crush was the other hero. And of course we get together and we have kids in it, but it's not really us, obviously. And so you have Juno, who was the guy, Torianta, who was the stand-in for me, and our children, Akari and Pora. And this is an illustration for the third book that I've never actually finished. I finished like two books, one that I wrote for friends, but also me and Double Rabbit doing. Um, and then the third book was a spin-off character, and it's a really great way to actually interact with the characters that are all based on, and it's sort of side-questing thing. <sighs> and I thought this was going to be my big opus, my franchise. Maybe one day I will actually read some of it to you, but it not not today. Oh, uh, 2011. Can I still draw anime? Yes, and here's Barnaby from <laughs> Tiger and Bunny. Head, 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 head. I, I. Head, head, head. Oh, I don't know who drew this in my sketchbook, but oh, isn't that cute? Oh, this is my cartoony style from back then. Yeah, 2003? I still picked up this sketchbook sometime in senior year, just looking at it and being like, oh, my style back then was so horrible. I draw cartoons right now. And these were my cartoon kind of 80s style girls. I don't know. Unicorns! Because even back then, part of me was like, I like unicorns. Back to age 14 with Kurza as the Blue Moon Fairy. Now she was actually from a Mystica as well. Toonie stuff and long division and foxes because for some reason I went through this phase where I liked foxes and I would draw people with ponytails but they were foxtails. And I tried to make a Gundam. It's Tresbus. Titanium robotic engineered space battle suit. I gotta work on acronyms. Wait, it's called a Titan RS. Then how does any of this? Uh, this is the Senshi model. I don't know what this means. I watched a lot of Gundam Wing at the time as well. Laser sword to slice enemies. Booster packs. Control compartment. And it's piloted by Jai. I don't know who Jai is. I don't think I even have a drawing of Jai. <laughs> Bullet camp? Bullet can thing can hold a thousand bullets? I don't think a thousand bullets are enough in space, 14 year old Vega. Oh, okay. So like I said, sometimes I will take my old sketchbooks and if there's a blank page, I would redraw something in it. So this was done in 2000, then I did this in 2002, I was still in high school, got my first how to draw manga book, and I did this in 2005. And I think on my Tumblr somewhere, I did one much later. If I did, I'll put it on screen right here. Head! 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 Eyes! Head! Oh, it's my wannabe Pokemon slash... Digimon and I didn't have colored pencils at some point and so I tried to label where the colors would go so I could envision it. Okay so Melee was also from Amistica and this is her daughter Tura. Look kitties! I can't draw cats still. <laughs> oh and there's my knockoff Pokemon colored. Head! Oh it's me trying to do a portrait with no neck and no head. The skull is just kind of concave and... Ugh. I don't know what this list is for. Oh, did I mention I love Legend of Lagaya a lot? Like, a lot. I loved Legend of Lagaya. Head, 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 head. 
Also some scribble from, I think, somebody I was babysitting. Got my sketchbook. Oh, oh, oh my god. I bought the sketchbook originally to put my comic in it, where I was gonna do a space version of a Mystica. So the adventure of a, of a Mystica would then turn in a Mystica universe, because, you know, I stole that from Tenchi Universe. 